everyone. Hey. Welcome to the YouTube. Hey, we're, we're, we're sitting a little further apart, aren't we? I mean, we are quarantined together. We are. We're quarantined together. So, I mean, like... Yeah, like we're, we're taking universal precautions, but we just thought that we would kind of demonstrate a little bit about, you know, what social distancing is and how important it is. But we are quarantined with one another as a family, so it's not as big of a deal, right? Well, yeah. if a Potterhead. Uh, okay, hold work? on. Before everybody starts going, if you see me start to laugh a little uncontrollably for whatever reason, Brandon has set up this thing right now so that every 40 seconds in my ear we hear a e which tells us to make sure that we look to see what people are saying to us. So it's a great idea, but it's kind of funny. To me, it sounds like a duck being choked. Well, e I can't so, see the timer. You can't, can't hit the timer. Candace actually said it, it sounds like an old Volkswagen Beetle bug, right? E Anyways, back on topic. Um, Life of Potterhead. Uh, could we work for you without going to post secondary? Yeah. Could, could we work for you without going to post secondary? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's, I mean, if, <laughs> I just got to be, anyways, back on topic. Yeah, you could, you could. I mean, it's it's all about people who have the ability to use social media as a form of communications, right? Now, having said that, we always do say that it's important for people to get their post-secondary education. Oh, right? yeah. Really important, right? So. Um, so we got a lot of things happening. We do. Um, a lot of things happen this week. We do. Uh, which goes into our White Hatter update. Mm. So... For us, this week, we have a lot of things planned. First we off, do. Um, ah, I'm excited Thursday. about this. I'm excited about this. We've had lots of interest from people uh, asking us, because we had a ton of parents' presentations and kids' presentations planned at schools, but obvious, for obvious reasons, we had to go down, right, because of school closures, and rightly so. So we came up with this great idea as a company saying, you know what, we want to do our part right, mm -hmm. because of what's going on. So we have designed a 70 minute presentation that we're gonna go live around the world where we're gonna be talking about social media safety and digital literacy for families because everybody's turning to the internet right now. That's why I don't like calling it social distancing, right? Like we call it physical or group distancing because like it or not, the, the internet and social media is one way to, to keep us social with one another. Yeah. Right, And because so many more people are going online, we thought it's really important that people know uh, some of the challenges, but also this presentation, we're also going to talk about uh, how social media is being used in a positive way. So it's free. We're getting lots of interest right now. From our, we've had interest from Australia, United States, England, uh, across Canada, and it's free. It costs you nothing. And we set up like two different times that we're there's gonna be showing. two opportunities, yeah. uh, one in the afternoon and one later in the evening. Mm -hmm. So please, if there's an opportunity for you to join us on Thursday, uh, please do so. Uh, but that's not all that we're doing. Make sure you go to our, make sure you go to our Facebook page and uh, share it with others, right? Yes. Share this, because we want to get as many people on this as possible. Uh, and it's free, so it doesn't, and it's based upon our multi-award winning program that we give in schools. So yeah. check it out. More things going on this week this for us. Kind of funny what you're uh, be doing every here. day of the week, well, mostly every day of the week, we are planning on doing something live for all of you. So, uh, Monday, tomorrow at 10 o'clock, we are doing Munchies Monday. And tomorrow's show is going to be all about ice cream sundaes, which are my favorite. So gonna... Yes, we're having ice cream at 10 o'clock in the morning. So you, and you're, it's going live. And you and Candace are going to show that, right? Yeah. Like you're going to show how you're going to be making these things? Yes, oh, I okay. love ice cream. So uh, if you can join us at 10 o'clock tomorrow on Instagram, we're going to go live. And then how about Tuesday? What are we uh, doing Tuesday is Tabletop Tuesdays. What's so, that mean? Uh, Tabletop Tuesdays is basically we're going to play some, as a White Hatter team, we're going to play a game of some sort. And we're going to try and get interaction from those who are following we're us. We're going to try our best. And we're going to try and it's going to be on Tuesday. Uh, on Wednesdays, we'll be the judge of that. Okay. And that's on Instagram. What's that about? Basically, uh, we're going to have to make a wheel and we're gonna have different uh, things to do on this wheel, and we're gonna spin the wheel. Oh, like uh, who's gonna be Vanna? Candace? Oh, yeah. Candace is Vanna? <laughs> the wheel determines what we do. Vrrr. Yeah. yeah. I'll and buy an E, please. <laughs> That's going to be on Instagram, and mm. that's starting uh, at 10 o'clock in the morning uh, Pacific mm. on Wednesday. And then Thursday's my. You're the event? The, the, our event. And then what about Friday? Uh, Thursdays are generally going to be like a, like, like a thought-provoking, thinking sort of um, oh. event. Okay. Guess perhaps okay. as well. Uh, Fridays are our feel-good Fridays. Oh, what are we going to do there? Uh, basically, kind of just kind of more laid-back, relaxed, decompressing kind of events. Oh, okay. Nothing set or planned, but yeah. just feel-good Fridays. Oh, so wonderful. join us on... Yeah. Um, Join us on Friday. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Sundays. Yeah, our regular Sundays live. Show. You know what's really cool is we've had the ability through the White Hatter Studio 
to go virtual for a very long time. And we have been for over the past year and a half, almost two years now. So we've kind of positioned ourselves very well to continue to share our thoughts, opinions with our followers and others who wish to come on board. And especially during this time where we're social distancing ourselves and some of us are isolating ourselves in the homes to help flatten that curve, which we should all be doing. We'll talk about that yes. a little bit later. Um, Wash your hands. So, uh, I mean, last, last night, didn't you and Candace yeah, do something? Yeah, last night, uh, it's not saved. It was a special uh quick little uh instagram live yeah it was a bonus stream we did uh last night where yeah. candace and i played super mario brothers for the week yeah we heard you guys like mom and dad are watching a movie and all of a sudden we hear this laughing and screaming we're going what what's going on down we there we were streaming live to instagram playing mario they're asking where you were <laughs> i was yeah. watching i was watching a movie from the 1980s called the breakfast club yeah <laughs> <laughs> great movie, great movie. Eek, I just got the e. That ear. means next topic. Okay, next topic. Um, <laughs> conditioning. Wow, conditioning. Uh, what else we got going? So a couple things happened. Uh, yeah. Darren dealt with this. Yeah, this week I had a call from a company down in the United States actually who got hit with Cryptoware. Uh, where um, it's a company right now in the U.S. and they str they're struggling right now because of the financial issues that are going on. Right, companies are shutting down, uh, sending employees home because there's no work to be had. And, and this company actually builds fans for hospitals. Right, they got hit with Cryptoware, where their entire system got uh, knocked off the grid, and the only way to get it back was to pay a ransom for it. And usually in these types of cases. We say don't pay for ransom, right? Because the person. But what are you going to do, right? You're a it's company. Hard, right? You're you're a company right now that's barely surviving. You're trying to keep employees working. It's cheaper to pay the ransom that they want, so you can get back up and going, right? It, it's 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 a tough. To, it's a risk assessment based standpoint. But I think what's really important for all our followers to know is that because of what's going on, these types of groups, these these, these criminal enterprises aren't just looking for major companies, right? They're looking for small and medium-sized companies, family companies, because they know that you're all hurting and that you'll pay the money. So you need to be hyper-aware. And how is Cryptoware basically being sent, Brandon? Usually it's through emails, uh, could be through social media messaging. Yeah. So just as we spend more time online, just look out to make sure you are vigilant to make sure nothing's uh, scamming you or that kind of thing. Because so we're all online more now, so we need to be uh, extra careful. Yeah, for sure. Uh, thank you for the chat for Life of Potterhead Mr. Pickles, uh, who show interest in joining us on our uh, weekly live events. Uh, say hi, uh, JDJ1212. Right here, right here, right here. We got his cup. We got his cup. <laughs> Right. Thank you, you for, and thank you for joining us in the chat last night as well. Oh, they were playing with you on the uh, yeah, game? Yeah, we had room. a lot of people join us. Pretty cool. Um, more event things happening um, in the White Hatter. This is a good one. So what's going on here, Brian? Uh, so we, uh, High Tech U, which is a organ which is a project built out of University of Victoria that kind of teaches, you know, coding, that kind mm, of thing mm -hmm. to young people. Mm -hmm. And they reached out on Twitter asking for experts if they were looking to do a live training events for students. Pretty cool. So we're going to be uh, teaming up with them. We're going to be teaming up. So looking forward to that. Thank you to Andrew from High Tech U for helping with this. Hey, li la la Life of Potterhead. My brother had his hours cut for the weekend due to, due to the virus. We know lots of people. We have a family yeah. whose son just had... Um, uh, was laid off from municipality over in the Lower Mainland, right? Uh, I mean, even we here at the White Hatter team, you know, it costs money for us to do what it is that we're doing, right? So we're looking to cut back a lot of what we're doing, you know, like things like Candace wanted to get a server up and going, right? Uh, yeah, like JGJG just said, when is Discord server happening? Yeah. Uh, based on what's happening in current events, the Discord, we, we met as a team and we're yeah. pushing the Discord server launch further down the line because we have so many other things happening right now. Uh, because everyone's changing a bit. So and and poor plans. Candace, because I know she was really looking forward to this and uh, she's devastated by it, and rightly so. But I mean, it's it's these are things that we have to do. We have to do what it is that we're doing. I, but trust me, when we're out of the woods on this, and we will be, Candace is going to be like this, like, oh my God, like we're, there will be no holding her back. Trust me, like it's like, oh my God, right? So it's, <laughs> yeah. Just says, give Candace time. Yeah. Or no, Left Potter has says, give Candace yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, so you may have already saw this on our TikTok, but uh, we did a quick little, um, kind of like a PSA. Yeah, a PSA um, on TikTok. On TikTok. Check it out. <laughs> Check out that bling that boomer's wearing. <laughs> that, that was a comment. That's me, that's me. Yeah. So you can, you can uh, watch the rest of the video on our TikTok. Uh, TikTok. Yeah, sure. yeah, check it out. Great uh, little thing to help. Hey, um, and Candace just did another TikTok too with you, eh? 
uh, and we just did one as well. So there's two new TikToks on our channel. Uh, check those out. Check One's out. doing pretty good, I think, right yeah, now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's on uh, that. Our handle is White Hatter Team on TikTok and basically on our all platforms at White Hatter Team. Check out those new videos. Yeah, for sure. Let's talk for about sure. some uh, news stories. And please remember, uh, if you're enjoying the content, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're all going virtual. Uh, these coming weeks, so we're gonna try and grow our channel, and we love your help. And Canvas would really like to help. We want to play. We want to play a role in keeping young people and even adults engaged online, right? So let's stay social by using social media, right? And so, and it, this is one of the ways that we can do it as a kind. <laughs> In my ear again. So this is one of the ways to do it, right? So yeah. Uh, Let's talk about some news stories. Let's. <laughs> and we have a very particular theme uh, on these news events. Yeah, we do. Um, yep. Now, this story kind of went under the radar. Yeah. Uh, given current events, but uh, Link sends first text message from space directly to our normal cell phone. Really? I know. So, like, ET can phone home. <laughs> More so text home. <laughs> yeah, ET text home. <laughs> With the finger. Ah. So people in space, like at the space station, could use this now to text people down in the world? Potentially. And how about vice versa? I would assume it's the same way. Pretty cool. It, new technology, but kind of cool, huh? Pretty cool. Uh, now, in the last Pretty week, cool. there have been a lot of great social innovations with technology for people helping in the current crisis. Yeah, we're, we we're, we're hearing all these negative things about the COVID-19, and we all need to know about it, right? But what's really cool is to see how people, young people and even older people, are coming uh, together and using social media and technology uh, to help us weather the storm, yes. right? Which is really kind of cool. And so what we wanted to do in this show is not so much focus on the negative side of what's mm -hmm. going on with the COVID-19, but... Talk, actually talk about what people are doing in our country and other countries, but mostly our country, to help us stay engaged with one another socially, yeah. right? Which is really important. A couple of great examples. Yeah. Uh, Darren saw this on Twitter, and basically it's uh, Middle school. Some, Check this some out. students who basically made a wireless uh, pump, uh, hand sanitizer, touchless, touchless system. Yeah, using robotics. I know. Like, how, how cool is that, That's right? Great. I mean, unbelievable. I, I, I wonder how many boomers could do that. Probably not many. I mean, it's so cool. And I, I, here's a really good opportunity now where uh, the young people, right, the Gen Zs, one of the things that they can now do is start teaching us older people about this kind of stuff. What a great opportunity to collaborate with one another to figure out cool ways to help us stay healthy during this crisis. And that's a re one yeah. really good example. Big shout out. I'm sure we'll see more innovations of oh. students building doors automatically open. Yeah, we're seeing that. To help businesses. Like we're seeing it. It's so cool. We've got some really good examples yeah. that's going on. Uh, Companies so, are stepping up to the plate yes, too, right? Yes, good example. Uh, CodeToLearn.ca. Oh, oh Company, yeah, uh, baby. Uh, out there helping to code. Yeah. Uh, they have, so you can sign up, you can subscribe to their schedule and get reminders, but they're offering kind of free coding um, sessions. We, you know, whenever we do our sessions, we talk about, you know, kids who learn how to learn to code or setting themselves up for financial success in the future. And they, they constantly were asking us, well, where can we learn coding? Well, here's a good example of how a Canadian company is now offering it for free online during this crisis. Yeah. So the link is in the description here on YouTube. You want to yeah. go straight to that? Take advantage of it, yeah, right? Ahead. Another way to stay active and, and learn how to be a producer and a creator rather than just a passive uh, consumer, yeah. right? Really kind of cool idea. It's wonderful. Yeah, it is. Uh, what some, else? Some Canadian doctors making oh! some really amazing innovations. Yes. Well, not really that they made it, but they, they, they implemented it in They're a really thinking asymmetrically way. because yeah. this is a really good example. This is a doctor in a smaller hospital in Canada, like small community who had one respirator for the entire hospital because it's a community hospital. So as a result of some other doctors that showed how to do this, he was able to create one ventilator in his hospital, the only one they had, so that they could service 10 patients. Yeah. And what's really amazing about like, this is cow. that... Uh, this technique was developed by doctors in 2006 yeah. who made a tutorial and posted it on YouTube. Yeah. And so he learned how to do this all through this platform. Now I've seen some people coming on, well, you know what, it's not that safe, you know, there's some issues. Well, guess what? In an emergency, would I rather have uh, be able to have the ability to save 10 people potentially? Like this is a last ditch effort if we get to that point. We hope we don't. But if we do, it could be a life saver, life saver for people, right? Which is really important. Life of Potterhead, I, from our, our last topic, I should learn to code to help you wonderful people. Thank you. 
I, I think you'd be really great at that. Candace actually said, oh, I think she'd be really good at yeah. that. And I think you're right. So what a great opportunity, Life of Potter had to learn how to do that by going to that site to learn how to code. Yeah. Kind of cool, Sign right? Sign up. It's free Kinda right cool, now. Right? So use it when we're all at home. You know what's really cool is how many teens are now asking us, how can we help? How can we help the White Hatter get our message out there, right? Which is kind of cool, right? Like, and we got to start thinking more asymmetrically as this thing is going on because I don't think it's going to be short term. I think it's going to be longer term than well, it's not going to be just weeks and stuff. And you know, and even if it was, there could be another pandemic that happens in a couple of years from now, right? So we got to be thinking asymmetrically. Well, that's why we have the ability now to actually go into schools virtually through our studio to reach students who may not be at school. How cool is that? To them. And how cool is that? And and actually, our, our us older generation now looking to teens to help us help them stay connected, especially with education, right? Like there's a, a lot of schools are moving to uh, online education right now. And one of the questions I have is, are we asking our kids about how they think maybe we can do this? Because I guarantee you, they have some great ideas that we can look at. So what else is going on? How are, how are other companies and organizations helping us during this time? Well, this, this is the next topic. It's been around for a while, but people are using it as a way to connect and socialize with each yeah. other. Yeah. So uh, watch party. Oh, it's watch party. This so is it's a it's Candace has done this actually, and it's an add-on. What hasn't she done? Uh, she done a lot. I know. It's an add-on that goes onto a Chrome browser, and basically it syncs your Netflix video with someone else's video. So you can both watch your Netflix videos, oh. but they're synced in the way where you can chat with each other through, while you're watching the video. So it's like you're going to a movie theater together, but really you aren't. But what's even better, in a movie theater, you can't talk to one another, but you can. You yeah, can, you can, you can, you can text. That's great. Kind of cool. Kind of um, cool, right? And then but you both have to have a Netflix account, you do have, right? Yeah. So it's not as if I can share my Netflix account no, with somebody else, no. right? Oh. But, but I mean, it, great opportunity. Cool, right? To stay engaged, to socialize with one another, doing what it is that we do, right? Yep. Really cool. What else? Uh, so many cool ways. I know. I mean, uh, what's, what's really cool is to see how individuals and businesses and companies are coming together to help one another out, especially from a free financial standpoint. Yeah. Uh, we're seeing uh, like, like theater productions yeah. now streaming. Good example. Uh, the Met Opera uh, is, at, they started last week, but this oh. week, uh, they're, they're live streaming in HD. Uh, their performances, and yeah. they basically have a performance every single day of the week. And, and it's how free. How cool is that? So if you've, la, never seen, la, la, la. if you've never seen an opera, why yeah. don't you just try it now for free? Oh, hold on. A message here from JDJJ1212. I tried it with my friends. It's cool. The Netflix yeah. party, right? That's pretty cool. Mr. Pickles, when the White Hatter came to my school, La Venture Middle School, it was super inspiring to tell people about the dangers of the internet. Not just the dangers, but also the opportunities, if yeah. you remember. Because in our presentation, we, we, we create this balance. Yeah, there's some issues as they're going on, but there's so many cool things. And you know what's really interesting right now is prior to this pandemic hitting, it was amazing to see how many older people were talking about all the evils of social media and all these things are going on and how gaming, blah, blah. Well, where are they now? Because it is so cool to see how young people and even adults are now turning to social media and the internet to stay social, which I was the think original. The discourse is going to change after these events. Yeah, I think so because the original, the original whole, the whole idea behind the internet and social media was to share, right, and to interact in a positive way. And it was kind of being hijacked by those who were using it for evil. And don't get us wrong; there's still people out there that are doing things they shouldn't be doing. We'll be talking about that on Thursday as well. That we need to make sure that we stay vigilant and safe but it is so cool to see what is happening right now and i agree with you i think we're going to change uh, see a change in discourse companies making uh interesting changes good yeah. example amazon one of the big companies of the world a yeah. um, couple things um like there was reports of them hiring you know a like hundred thousand more people to f fulfill roles makes total sense right because everybody's not going out they're ordering yeah. online now right uh, uh a spokesperson told the independent in a news article we're temporarily post uh, prioritizing household supplies medical supplies and high demand products uh, so they're they're shifting uh, the shipping to those things that people need in this crisis which mm -hmm. is fantastic so good part on Amazon yeah for sure um, I mean it's yeah. it's amazing to see what's going on what else we got going uh, so many cool things interesting countries are making inter interesting sometimes questionable decisions we're finding what do you mean a uh, good example uh, a couple reports coming out of like Israel and other places uh, where they're using phone tracking in mm. order to kind of uh, isolate and determine 
uh, virus outbreaks. Yeah. Now, obviously, some human rights advocates are very concerned about this, and rightfully so. And I think some privacy. I mean, this is a good opportunity to talk to the audience as well. Is that a lot of people are looking to download a lot of free stuff online to keep themselves engaged online mm -hmm. and doing stuff. But the reality is, some of this free stuff, from a privacy standpoint is collecting private information that you're going to be doing in, on your phone and using it to their advantage. So I, I still think there needs to be a little bit of caution that when yes. we're downloading these things online that we're really looking at the terms of service and their privacy statements yep. before you download them. Because we want to make sure that as we're using this wonderful thing called social media to stay engaged with one another, that we're actually protecting our privacy as much as we can as well. So this is really important that uh, during these times, right, especially when we're downloading free stuff that we need to be aware of. So mm -hmm. just uh, don't, don't always have that in the back of our mind about these issues yep. for sure, right? Um, what else? Uh, so last oh, this is a good one for teachers. Um, I know we got a couple of teachers watching right now. Yeah, so last mm -hmm. uh, which like makes like you know books and whatnot, and yep. lesson plans, yep. and basically uh, vice president said, yeah, they're making resources free for teachers and students who are at home learning. So again, another company uses the internet to, to provide people yeah. resources in a time of need. Yeah, and what's really interesting is a lot of these companies that usually have a pay for service, a lot of them during this crisis are now saying to teachers and schools, listen, if please use this for free, right? Like at this point, they're doing their part, not all of them, but uh, uh, you know, there's a, there's a fairly large group that are now taking a, uh, a corporate spirit on doing the right thing during this crisis. Mm -hmm. And you know, we have a ton of teachers that follow us. And one of the things I've been thinking about doing is so let's do an IG live or something where we ask teachers to come in so that they can share with one another. And I know Might that we a have a- Thursday perhaps. Yeah, and I know that we have a teacher who follows us quite regularly. She actually wants to be a white hatter. I know she's watching right now. And if you're interested in that, you should connect with us. Because yeah. I think we can help facilitate that because we've got the technology to do that. We've right? got the White Hatter Studio. We do, all right? And we use a product called uh, Blue Jeans, right? Yeah. And where we, uh, like, we can do some really cool things with teachers to get around and share with one another. So uh, think about uh, connecting with us. And you know who you are. You know who you are. Thank you to Life of Potterhead, JDJ1212, and Mr. Pickles for engaging with us in the chat. We appreciate it. Um, interesting story. Oh. Uh, I think we talked, we talked about, we, we talked about this story last time. Oh, yeah, um, but something's happened to them. People who are, are hoarding uh, necessary supplies and it looks like certain government entities are not too happy. So they shouldn't be. Uh, and like, a good story of brothers hoarding thousands of bottles of hand sanitizer forced to donate to charity. And you can see on the right there, uh, members of the uh, AG's department uh, basically seizing these uh, products. If you remember, for those of us last week, I went off on a rant on these guys last week, and rightly so. And a couple others. Yeah, because of the price gouging and the hoarding they were doing and trying to find it again, worked up again. So stuff, right? And rightly so, like my goodness i just used about used a, di a different word i didn't do that but it's just just not the right thing to do and you know you reap what you sow all right and these people deserve to get what happened there just ridiculous what happened mm -hmm. so big shout out to the government agency that took matters into their own hand to deal with these uh, these individuals Ms. Pickles, my math teacher said uh, those who level up the math over their break will be giving them a five dollar gift card to amazon really <laughs> that's interesting wow <laughs> interesting increase your math level while on break, get some money for it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Right, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Life of Potterhead, are you guys going to be doing another youth advisory team this year? Yeah, we probably will. Probably in the fall. Uh, probably in the fall, in most the fall. likely. Uh, so yeah, keep all of you keep an eye out for that when we make that announcement. We just did one, you know, in December. So we're. Yeah. Twice yeah, a year, yeah. once a year. Well, well I mean, but right now, I mean, I think we need to let things settle down yeah. right now. So, I, yeah, I think in the fall we'll uh, we'll yeah. run another one for sure, and Candace will kind of lead that one like she did last time, yeah. uh, and uh, discuss further. Right. Wonderful. What else we got going on by some of these companies that are doing? Here's things. an interesting opinion piece. Oh yes. Uh, from a, from someone uh, <laughs> suggesting that could video games and other entertainment help slow the spread of COVID nineteen. When I read this, I went, yes, we've been opinion. talking about this, right? Like a good example, the game Pandemic. And you got it on your phone, don't you? You got the game on your <laughs> like, phone. I, I do have the game for iOS. You know, what's really cool it. about Pandemic, although it's a game, it also teaches young people and even adults about how viruses and pandemics spread. Well, to be fair, there is a zombie version. It is, but again, it's still... 
educational to a good degree, but the storyline behind it keeps you engaged, oh, right? Yeah. So yep. it is interesting to see, like, a, again, how gaming or certain parts of gaming can help us kind of weather the storm that we're feeling right now by staying engaged with one another online at higher levels, right? So uh, are you playing it right now? I just started in Egypt. Oh, there you go, right? So uh, uh, again, I think it's a really good article. Like Brandon said, I think once this thing passes, and it will, as uh, you know, and things return to normalcy, I think there's going to be a huge shift on discussions around social media and its use and how it got us through this by staying social with one another, which was the original intent of the internet, right? And yeah. social media, right? So. So I mean, yeah, we'll see the conversations change. Yeah. This next one, I found this one online. Oh my God, it was so funny. This this senior's home, they decided to play a game of Hungry Hippos. And for those of you who don't know what Hungry Hippos is, it was it was kind of like a, a, a board game, but it was, and you have these uh, hippos and you have marbles, these marbles fall in, you hit your hippo and the hippo goes in and eats them as uh, the marble and whoever gets the most marbles wins. Well, this long-term care facility because of social, isola social isolation that was going on, they had all their seniors Are those like play. laundry baskets? <laughs> yeah, they were. They turned them upside down, they put them on poles and on their canes and uh, the workers were pushing them in and pulling them out like hungry, hungry hippos and they were grabbing these things. Oh, it was so funny. It was it was cool and funny. It brought a real smile to my to my face. Games. And 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 when it games and then when you watch the seniors, they were all laughing and having a good time as well. So again, asymmetrical thought process to help people kind of manage what's going on with regards to socialization and distancing, right? Like these people, unfortunately, had to shelter in because they're a senior facility yes. and they're the most at risk. So they were trying to find creative ways to keep their, their the people who are living there in the facility entertained. And this was just one of the ways they were doing right. that. I mean, how cool is that? Uh, 3D printers. Oh. Are really being a, a forefront technology yes. in today's world. Yeah. Good example. Canadian company. Uh, here's a Canadian company who basically uh, is using their 3D printers to basically start making uh, face shields. Yeah. For uh, splash shields. Workers. Yeah. Splash shields to stop, you know, like water, uh, coughing, phlegm. You'll see a lot of them if you're watching the news. A lot of them will wear a mask, right? The proper mask. But over top of that, they have a face shield. Yeah. And so this Canadian company has decided to turn their entire run because they have 3D printers from what they were doing to building these things and giving them out, giving them out free to frontline emergency workers. Now right? what's cool about this is that these face shields, like they didn't design these face shields. No. Rather, they went online and they downloaded a schematic for them to print these face shields. Yeah. In fact, there's another one on there that teaches people how to use uh, 3D printers to actually make uh, the appropriate face masks now as well. You know, I, I sent that out around here in Victoria and the tech industry here in Victoria is flooding all the other tech. And there's so many ways that companies can do their part using the technology. I think 3D printers, like after the, these events, will be more common in households because we're seeing companies making using 3D printers to make other medical equipment yeah. or, or adapters yeah, yeah. to help in yeah. hospitals. I think we might have to buy one. I want a 3D printer. My only concern is if Canon gets her, if Candice gets a hold of that thing, we'll never see it again. Right, she'll be doing so many different <laughs> things with it. Like, holy cow! But it could be kind of cool. Where I mean, that could be something else, right? Yeah, I mean, if you, if you need something, instead of going out to buy something, you just press a button. It's like Star. It it's like Star Trek. Uh, the 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 replicators, right? Where you push yeah. a button and that kind of stuff. Kind of the. But again, big shout out to this company. In fact, when I when I when I'm tagging companies like this now on Twitter, I tag it O oh, Canada Rocks, <laughs> right? And because there are so many different companies that are now doing things like this to help those who need the help the most right now, which is our healthcare, right? Because they're gonna be inundated with this stuff and they're running out of supplies. And this is just a really good way to help maintain those supplies and do it for free. So big shout out, big tip of a white hat from us here at the White Hatter to companies like this, right? Yeah. There's another one too, isn't there? Uh, breweries. Another good example. Are, surprisingly, breweries are, are making- Distilleries. Distilleries yeah. are making, um, Hand sanitizers. Yeah. Look at, like, uh, Here's one in Ontario. We have one here in Victoria that are making, what they're doing is the way that they brew things like whiskey and distilling, a byproduct of that is a specific type of alcohol that can be used to make really good hand sanitizer. So this company here, a number of distillers, one here in Victoria, British Columbia, did the same thing. They've, they've kind of stopped their runs. They're making this hand sanitizer because it's hard to find in the stores right now to give out to uh, police, fire, ambulance, shelters right now hospitals, long-term care facilities, and they're donating all this stuff for free. Like, 
unbelievable. Again, another big tip of our white hat to companies like this that are doing their part. Hashtag O Canada rocks. Yeah. Right? Hashtag O Canada rocks. Like those are some wonderfully awesome stories of how companies, individuals are taking, uh, you know, like steps to help yep. everyone deal with this. But having said that, there are some people out there now taking advantage of it in a negative way, right? Yeah. Good example. Uh, this article kind of spread over the internet uh, last week. Uh, you know, uh, Zoom bombing or, you know, video bombing basically because a lot of people are using video sharing platforms to communicate for work and socialize. Yeah. Uh, we got to be careful of, you know, just who we add in. So I know a lot of schools have moved to Zoom right now because Zoom has given their product for free during what's going on. So um, Zoom bombing was happening with a group again where they were having and somebody else got in and all of a sudden they started flashing up porn and other undesirable pictures, right? So if you go to our Facebook page, we wrote an article on this, but there are ways to defeat this to help protect your Zoom broadcasting. And, and or any broadcasting. Yeah, and a link to that is on that article that is on our Facebook page. And our Facebook page again, Brandon, is? White Hatter Team. White Hatter Team on Facebook. Check it out. Uh, the article is there as well as a link to a university that now shows people who are using Zoom, like schools, how to do it and make it much, much harder for Zoom bombing to take yeah. place if you're using Zoom, right? That's so, wonderful. Yeah, so, I mean, sure. things look out for it, but we, really want to spend, we wanted to spend today talking about all the really great things. Yes, for sure. And, I mean, yeah, like even us here in the White Hatter because, you know, most of the days of the week now, we're going to try and plan something. Uh, and... <laughs> Munchies Monday, starting tomorrow, 10 a.m., yeah. ice cream Sunday. That's going to be that's gonna be kind of funny, right? That's going to be great. We're going to have fun with that. An ice cream Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning? I'm okay with oh, that. Oh, that's going to be an interesting <laughs> one. Right? But, but, uh, the whole idea now is we want to leverage our technology to help all of us stay connected with one another, right? So as we move to more from social distancing to more social isolation, help flatten that curve, right? Which is really important. And for those of you who want to know what flattening the curve means, make sure you go to our Instagram account, which is White Hatter Team. White Hatter Team on our IG. We've got several videos that we've shot to show what this whole idea of, of flattening the curve and social distancing is all about. But we want to play a role as a company to help us stay connected with one another, especially with, you know, we have over just about 30,000 followers now in all our social media mm -hmm. feeds that we have to help all of our followers stay connected and social with one another, come up with ideas, synergize with one another, uh, and do it in a way that uh, we can stay connected until we weather this storm, and we will weather it. And I think Canadians, we've placed ourselves in a really good position to help flatten that curve. I still think there's some really dumb things going on. I don't know if you saw, Brandon, but, you know, I yesterday in, in, in over in Vancouver you know like like hundreds of people on beaches and walking still like that's just it's a mistake and the other thing I just want to mention quickly as well is there's this real misinformation out there that a lot of young people think that the this virus will not affect them in any way well right now uh, the state of New York which is being the hardest hit right now they just reported out that 53 percent of hospitalizations of people in their state right now 53 percent of them are for young people between 18 to I think it was 34 or 35 so just because you're young don't think that this virus is not going to potentially kill you the reality is 80 percent 85 percent of us will get through it but you know those most vulnerable in our society seniors those who have underlying conditions um, that at most at risk so young people though you may not feel the full effects of it you can become a carrier and pass it on to your grandma your grandfather your parents uh, those other individuals so we need to do our part right and and again I think that the majority of young people in Canada teens preteens young adults even older adults we're doing our part but there's still a group of people like last night the Victoria Police Department that I worked for they went to a party last night a noisy party where there was a gathering of young people like lots of young people and they, they said to the officer, well, we, we don't have to worry about the COVID-19 because it's, it's not affecting us. False, right? That's absolutely 100% false. And we need to do our part as, as, as a society. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this, uh, this daily thing that you and Candace have got planned. I'm sure I'm going to be laughing my head off as we're doing that. And Thursday is our special uh, internet safety and digital literacy uh, presentation. Uh, we're doing it two times, two opportunities here on YouTube yeah. on Thursday. So please tune in, share with your friends and family. It's free. It's we free. have uh, postings on Facebook, Twitter, uh, yeah. Instagram soon. Um, so if you see those, share them. Uh, 
uh, let's get people to stay safe together. And, and the reason we have two, two times is because we wanted to give people on the East Coast a reasonable time to watch and the West Coast, right? So that's why we've done it. Uh, share it. We're going to be taking questions, although I'm going to be doing most of the presenting. Candace and Brandon are going to be behind the scenes answering online questions. At the end of the presentation, for those of you who want to stick around, we'll even stay on longer and maybe answer uh, and questions, right? So it's all about getting us to think a little bit differently because we're all going online and what we can do to harness social media and the internet and stay safe doing it, yeah. right? That's what it's all about. All right. Uh, one last question from JDJ1212. Uh, is it safe to go for walks? Absolutely it is. Uh, but if you're gonna go for walks, make sure you maintain social or physical or group distancing with one another. And what all the health professionals, and that's the other thing, for those of us that are turning to information, don't rely on what you're reading online on the internet, right? Go to a trusted source like um, BCCDC, the Canadian uh, Health uh, ministry, that's where you should be going. But what they're all recommending is that if we're going out for a walk, uh, do it and maintain social or group distancing of about two meters, six feet, two arm lengths away as we're walking around at this point in time in an open environment. So in fact, we encourage people to get out there and do that, right? So, right? So there are some people that don't. There are some people that don't. And there's some people that are saying, you know, if we, if we can avoid it, and that's okay as well, right? That's okay as well. But even if you don't want to go for a long walk, like we're on property, so get out, walk around outside, go hang, hang out in the back lawn, you know, create your own campfire. Maybe not, maybe not, right? Maybe not Do something on your patio, as Candace just said, right? Just get out, get some fresh air and stuff, right? Yeah. So, all right. Yeah, anything else we got going? I think that's it. We'll see you uh, all throughout the week on our various platforms as we try and engage with all of you. And again, please join us starting tomorrow. We want to stay busy to help you guys stay engaged, right? That's what it's all about is helping one another get through this. And we've got the technology to do that. So we're going to take full advantage hey, Candace, of it. Candice, maybe we'll, we'll post on IG as a story the type of ice cream we have. And remember, remember. Wash, Wash your, your hands. Watch our latest TikTok for Vigorously. more on that. Yeah, check it out on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, new TikTok went up today. I'll give you a clue. Candace is singing in the background. <laughs> Candace is singing in the background. Oh. Check All it right, out. Everyone. So on behalf of Darren. Brandon and Candace in the back. Thank see. you everyone for joining us and we'll see you up. All week. All week. All week. <laughs> Bye everyone. Bye now. Thank you.